Hi, you're finding yourself suddenly remote? I, like many of my colleagues across the nation at universities that have gone to remote-only instruction, are having to quickly convert our courses into online fashion. So what I want to share with you is a quick and dirty guide to PowerPoint. Most of us don't know how to use these other tools, such as Camtasia, that this is being recorded on. But if you want to get up and running quickly by something that most people already have, either on their computers or through their Microsoft uh, Office 365 subscriptions, here's what you do. Let's take an existing PowerPoint file like this. Open it up. You'll go over to Slideshow. And then you'll click Record Slideshow. Now this is going to go into a Record Slideshow mode. I'm going to stop that real quickly just to demo this process. But I'll click Record Slideshow. Start. I'll just leave everything in. And then hit Start Recording. And as you see here, I'll start recording. In here, I'll start briefing the slides, you know, moving the slides along. Um, now realize that PowerPoint is a little less powerful than some other tools, so don't speak while you're transitioning the slide. It will not record it. It's going to attach your voice to a specific slide. So as I'm recording lectures, there's my, my pros and cons on, on recording these. Camtasia, of course, is high quality, allows you to do editing, has picture in picture, like me in the lower right hand side there. Uh, there's a learning curve. A lot of new software, there's rendering, exporting, all that to do. If you record a PowerPoint slideshow, it's easy. We already know how to use PowerPoint, at least most of us do. And our content, much of our content in lecture-based courses, is already in this form. And the downside is there's no instructor video. I wouldn't be in the right-hand side of your uh, slide here in the bottom corner if I'm just doing PowerPoint. But the narration will be there. Only the content of the slides is shown. A third option is to use your phone's video mode. So we'll make this pretty quick. All right, so there's a screenshot shot from Cantasia, right? So a learning curve required for this. If you're into a more sophisticated, produced approach and have a little time on your hands, you could do that. Um, and here's a screenshot of what it looks like. You can see me in the lower right-hand corner. This is from a course I do on engineering leadership, which is fully online. However, get to the guts here. So recording a PowerPoint slideshow requires the following. Open the PowerPoint file like I showed you. Slideshow, record slideshow, start from beginning, or if you want, from current slide. So again, the important point, don't talk during slide transitions. It's not recorded where you get cut off for a second or two. Then hit either to pause or end, hit the exit, or I'm sorry, the escape button, and do file export create a video, and then upload to eLearning or YouTube. And then we'll do File, Export, Create a Video, and I'm just going to use the defaults here. So I'm just going to create a video, and we'll call it Suddenly Remote um, Demo, because I didn't do the whole thing, all right? So Suddenly Remote Demo, that will be produced. Go to my desktop here, and demo. not quite ready yet. So still rendering. Okay, takes a little bit. So while it's doing that, I'm going to continue with the rest of my slideshow here just to show you a couple of things. And I mentioned you could use your phone's video mode. Okay, so some things I do when I want to introduce a topic in my course, I'll use my phone's video mode and I will just turn it on, turn on selfie mode. Here I am outside at our Parkview campus and just a short intro here. Decision making and problem solving. Decision making has a variety of rules that go, and models that go along with it. And to help you make better decisions along the way, one of the things you want to do is avoid making different mistakes or biases that occur in decision making. Okay, so that gives you an example of some things I've done to just kind of personalize the process and go out on, on the property here at our Parkview Engineering Campus at Western Michigan and give an overview, or you could even have uh, some sort of a brief lecture if you wanted to, uh, just be creative. But again, stuff that we already have. We already have video on most of our phones. A few colleagues that have flip phones, if you're in that situation, you might want to upgrade. <laughs> but uh, don't let me make that call for you. But uh, these are some relatively simple things that you can do. And so hopefully you can put them to work, get online now that you're suddenly remote. Thank you.